A cooking stove is one of the most important kitchen appliances, if we can use a solar stove in the kitchen, we have definitely saved energy and used clean energy. In this video, a unique method of making a solar stove is discussed, I hope it gets your attention, thank you for being with us and liking the video, thanks, Ibrahim Hashemi. Hello to all dear ones. I am Ibrahim Hashemi. And this is another The Fixed Focus program. In this program I want to talk about a solar stove that works with a fixed focus system. And with fixed focus system we have the ability to make a unique solar oven. If this system is fixed focus, we want to direct the hot oil from the focus to an aluminum screw tube as a stove. And I do this just for familiarization in this video, and in fact, the spiral pipe should be inside the home kitchen. Today, there are different ways to make solar stoves. And they have put different names on them as you can see in the picture. Another method is to use large lenses as you can see in the picture. And the best of them all is to use a solar dish. In this picture. Of course, there are other methods as well, such as this cylinder that has a lens layer. Using some of these solar stoves for cooking will take a lot of time and some of them may harm the eyes. Finally, I leave the judgment to you to compare the fixed focus solar stove with other solar stoves. Well, let's go to make a solar oven with a fixed focus system. Before that, I must say that the solar dish that I use is less than 1 square meter and it has been almost 10 years since it was made. As you can see, I made the aluminum tube in this shape. I prepared this pipe in a spiral form, which is suitable for a solar stove. Because the tube is made of aluminum, so its heat exchange with the environment is very high. Therefore, we must insulate it properly and this short path will also cause energy loss. Well, let's go to insulate these aluminum pipes. I got a piece of glass wool, but rock wool is much better. To work with glass wool, be sure to use gloves and even a mask because it contains glass powder and will cause itching of the hands. Well, to cover the pipes with glass wool, first I cut a suitable piece with a cutter, first I place the edge of the glass wool on a flat surface. Well, I take the cutter and cut it from the side of the aluminum cover. Cutting is easy, just be careful with the sharp blade of the cutter. Now I have separated a suitable piece and I will collect the rest. I want to cover this part of the pipe in a longitudinal way.
This is from one side of the pipe that I did in a longitudinal way. Now I will cut a suitable amount for the other side of the pipe as well. I want to spirally wrap this side around the glass wool insulation pipe. Of course, the spiral method will be easier. Well, I closed one side lengthwise and the other side spirally. You choose whichever is easier for you. Now I'm going to hook it up to the oil pump system. Unfortunately, the sun also set and I could not act on time due to busy work. I have to move the moving part of the fixed focus system to allow access to the oil pump. First, I will cut off the system power. And then I turn it. I have to adjust the camera so that it can be seen better. One end should be connected to the pipe coming out of the focus and the other end should be inserted into the oil pump inlet hole. Now, under the spiral part of the pipe that should be used as a stove, I use a piece of flat stone and fireproof cotton. This fireproof cotton was related to the cover of a metal melting furnace, which has a hole in the middle. Now our work is finished and the spiral pipe is connected to the oil pump. When the oil pump is working, the oil enters the spiral part from one side and enters the oil pump from the other side. Well, the sun has set now, we will leave the work for when the sun is in the sky. Now the sun is shining and we can continue our work. And you see that there is a focus of the sun's rays on the focus. In order to prevent the loss of heat, I have put a cover on the focus so that the wind does not cause heat loss. I completed the insulation on the pipes and activated the oil pump. Now the solar stove is ready. Now I'm going to make a fried egg. I will put a metal dinner plate on the stove. This one egg is sufficient to test our work. The solar dish of our system is less than one square meter, and due to heat loss, the amount of heat transferred to the solar stove will be low. Now I pour the oil into the metal dinner plate. We put the lid on and let the oil heat for 5 minutes. Well, now it's been 5 minutes and still the oil is not hot enough. I break the egg. My work was not hygienic at all and I don't know why the egg shell broke into pieces. I also beat the egg so that it is easier to fry. 
The problem here is that the heat transfer from the spiral tube to the metal dinner plate is not done well. Now I put the lid on and we should probably give it another 20 to 30 minutes. In order to make the food dish heat up faster, I put a weight on it to increase the thermal contact between the metal dinner plate and the spiral tube. And of course it has been effective and almost 20 minutes have passed, of course I have taken a look at the food before filming. Of course, it is still not fully cooked and should be fried a little more. This food has been cooked on low heat and you should be careful to remove all the things that cause heat energy loss in the transmission between the focus and the stove. Of course, a mistake was made and as you can see in the picture, it would have been better if the hot oil inlet and outlet were changed. I put the same weight on the lid again. Another way to use the fixed focus system for cooking is to place the dish in the focus. In this case, there is no need to adjust the solar dish as in the usual methods, and much more effective heat energy is transferred to the food preparation container, and of course, it will not be very interesting. I hope the program has been useful to you and has been of interest to you. It is not a special case. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. So, goodbye until the next program.